Ladies and gentlemen, this contest set for a one fall with a 60 minute time limit. Welcome back, YouTube. Today, as you see, I got in a shipment and I don't know about you, but these have been pretty hard to get in my area. Um, I went to five different Walmarts in a 50 mile radius and only one of them ended up having them. I bought two boxes before and um, since then haven't been able to find them. Now these I got on the Upper Deck website. Um, they just popped up randomly. Um, I checked periodically and finally they got a restock. Um, the last box that I got, I ended up getting this Kip Sabin shirt relic. Um, pretty good to see him finally be somewhat relevant. I noticed he had a uh, surprise comeback this last uh, Friday, I believe. And then my first box, I actually got a Tony Schiavone signature card so pretty cool piece um, he actually uh, I tagged him in my post on Instagram and he liked it um, I thought that was pretty cool I never whenever you get that you know acknowledgement I mean it's always cool to see that they're paying attention to their fans so uh, let's open these boxes and see what we have And this, it does state, um, well, okay, here we go. So it says, collect autographs from your favorite wrestlers. It has eight cards per pack and then eight packs per box. Um, I thought it had, I mean, it does have all the exact odds of the different parallels and such. Um, I know they had different, you know, foil cards. I think some were like a... F they call them the, uh, I don't know, I don't, I can't remember, it had like the fireworks, I, I'm sure it had something to do with their dynamite theme, you know, that they, they have going on, but, all right. So this first pack. love the smell of a new pack of cards. It's like one of my all-time favorite smells. One of those odd things that you, you know, it's like a new car, but better. All right, first up we have the Icon Sting. As you see, they have different variants. So some will have the blue, some will have gold. Orange Cassidy. Here's one of the wrestling magazine insert, Matt Jackson, MJF, gold variant. Then they have this other, these other, you know, inserts, main features, Orange Cassidy. I believe they have different um, color variations of those as well. Top Rope, Mark Quinn, Colt Cabana, and John Silver. All right. Ooh, I see. A great wrestler in the back. Let's start from the beginning. Tay Conti. Then we have a tag team insert. This time we got the Dark Order. Another tag team insert. This one's a gold parallel SCU. Oh, cool. This this is one of the ones I was talking about not the specific um, this looks like an X refractor type but see how it kind of looks like fireworks they do have other parallels of just like a regular parallel but Paul Turner if I find another one I'll uh, definitely show main features Nyla Rose 
the blade Jake Roberts glad to see him back in on TV and then Kenny Omega he just made a return from his long you know injury I know a lot of people's you know they so crazy how fans will just you know they'll complain about one thing and then when it caters they'll turn their back quick so we got the butcher butcher looks totally different now he's in great shape Matt Hardy another Matt Hardy magazine insert Nyla Rose see the UD canvas Dr. Britt Breaker this Britt Baker this has like a canvasy feel it's not glossy so pretty neat insert right behind we have main features Darby Allen the nightmare Cody Rhodes now in WWE and then Sammy Guevara Pretty cool to see Tony Khan buy out Ring of Honor. Hopefully he'll dedicate some of his TV time to that series so we can get a up-to-date weekly episodic, you know, show from Ring of Honor. We got Taz. Luchasaurus. Is he still out? Chris Jericho. Main features, Jungle Boy. Ooh, main features, Gold, Sting. That's a good pull right there. We have Riho. Next up we have the magazine, Hikaru Shida. And then another... Mark Quinn, just the regular base card for for that for that one there. All right, next up. Ooh, Mr. Brody Lee. I was going through some old cards the other day, and I found his WWE rookie card and it was a uh, I can't remember what type of refractor it was the top they had different tiered it was the top tier refractor of his rookie so I didn't realize I had that on hand until you know I was going through some old stuff so it's a pretty neat find to get or see once again we have Brian Cage another tagged uh, tag teams this one it has private party And we have Miss Brandy Rose also in WWE. Oh, here's the one that I was talking about. See how it kind of has that looks like fireworks. I think they call it the dynamite reflector. But uh, yeah, this one's cool because it's a wrestling magazine diamond reflector. And then this other. Uh, insert that they have are these um, roads to success uh, this one is an, is referencing May 25th 2019 Cody Rhodes makes his AW debut at Del Bar Nothing then we have Jungle Boy and Mr. Jim Ross I met Jim Ross a few years ago him and JR they were at a convention and uh, it's pretty neat they had a lot of cool wrestlers there my all time favorite Scott Hall was there Scott Steiner, so many names, and it was actually a really good deal. I'm surprised they did what they did. I don't know how they got away with what they did because, I mean, I didn't pay that much money, and I got the VIP package for pretty cheap. Christopher Daniels, Kip Saban, 
Tony Schiavone. Alex Reynolds. So here's another. That one looks kind of like the other. We have another canvas. Hikaru Shida. Ortiz. Man, she looks freaking wicked. And then last up we have Darby Allen. Magazine insert. Alright, we have two packs left on this box. I haven't seen... You know, a... Uh, any type of specialty card. Whatever you want to call it. We have an MJF magazine. Santana. Oh, here we go. Arn Anderson. Looks like a t shirt relic. Congratulations, you received a trading card with Arn Anderson AW memorabilia that has been certified to upper deck as having been worn by the featured manager. <laughs> well, I mean, he is legendary, but I don't know. Not really the... If it was his autograph, that would have been awesome, but t-shirt relics, I think, are kind of meh. Darby Allen, top rope. I don't know if that's just the red variant. I don't know if the other one had that. That's pretty cool though. And then PAC. Man, I'm that was a great match between him and uh Osprey and the triples tag. Um this is this this past week. Um excited to see him and Kenny Omega versus the Young Bucks, which I read was like the semifinals. I don't know if that was like a mess up, but to me that should have been a finals match. Alright, next up we have Pinta L Zero. Big Swole. Big Perm, Big Worm. Gold variant. Nala Rose magazine. Then we got Shrimp Beretta with the shiny looking whatever refractor hologram got brandy brandy roads and we have another tag teams inner circle nick jackson and jake hager jake's from my home state he wrestled for oklahoma university so Always give that guy props anytime I see him on the TV. Alright, that's the end of that box. So let's bust this other one open. And hopefully we can get something other than just a t-shirt relic. Those are kind of whack if you ask me. I mean, if they need to at least throw a signature in there with it. Did that pack... Or this box, first box. Uh, I remember only seeing three on one side. Hopefully they didn't jip me a pack. Alright. Let's see what we got. First up. Hikaru Shida. Another Orange Cassidy magazine. Luchasaurus. This one looks like the gold. I think the other one was the blue. Then we have the main features. Teconti. Another main features. Big Swole. Gold variant. Sean Spears. Then we have another tag team with... Trent and Chuck Taylor. Man, I want to see Trent and uh, what's his name with Rapungi Vice. I want to see them team back up. 
and then Chris Statlander. She had an awesome uh, interest here. Looked like Rogue from X Men this past week. Pretty cool to see. X Men's my favorite comic series, and of course Wolverine is my favorite superhero or whatever you want to call him. Favorite badass, really. All right, Chris Jericho. Brandy Rhodes. Ooh, a gold Brody Lee magazine. We have the hologram Darby Allen. Another top rope Ray Phoenix. Just a common Cody Rhodes. Wrestling Magazine, Kenny Omega, and QT Marshall. Double or nothing this weekend, and I'll uh, I'll be out of town, so I I don't know if I'll get to watch it. Tony Schiavone. Santana, Nala Rose, Brian Cage, another canvas with the Luchadors, or Lucha Brothers, <laughs> Phoenix and Penta, we have a main features, Cody Rhodes, Matt Jackson, and Justin Roberts. Next up, Powerhouse Hobbs. We have Taz. Ooh, Hangman Hat Adam Page. T shirt variant, or T shirt relic. Let's see. Worn. It doesn't say where he wore it. I feel like these are. The generic, just you know, wish they'd add autographs to it, but oh well. Main features Kenny Omega, and then we have the wrestling magazine Sting. All right, halfway there. Another Trent, Evil Uno, Matt Hardy, Main Features, Darby Allen, Gold Variant, Main Features, Nick Jackson, Miro, glad to see him back. We have another tag teams, the Butcher and the Blade. Great team, very underrated. I think they deserve gold for sure. And then we have Scorpio Sky. All right, Wrestling Magazine, gold. Nick Jackson, then we have the hologram Chuck Taylor, ooh another shirt relic, that's, I've never hit two and one, Ricky Starks, dang, gotta get more hangers up with all these shirt relics, Cody Rhodes, uh, Rhodes to Success, October 2nd, 2019. Cody Rhodes kicks off the first episode of Dynamite against Sammy Guevara. 
And then last we have Hangman Adam Page. Tully Brand Tully Blanchard the Ray Phoenix the Bunny another canvas card Dustin Rhodes main features Luchasaurus Brian Cage magazine Ooh Penelope Ford She's one of my favorite female wrestlers. And Lance Archer. Alright, last pack. Can we get a triple hit in one box? That'd be kind of cool. I've never gotten two in one box, so I doubt I'll get something else. But hey, it'd be my lucky day. Ray Phoenix Magazine, Dax Harwood, FTW, then we have the Tag Teams, Young Bucks, Colt Cabana, we've got a Lance Archer Dynamite Hologram, Jake Hager, main features. Then we have just the regular Arn Anderson. And last, we're going to end it with Dusty Rhodes. Or D <laughs> Dustin Rhodes. So, all right. Let's get one more look at our pulls. So, again, we have a Ricky Starks t shirt relic. Hangman Adam Page t-shirt relic and Arn Anderson t-shirt relic so come on tops add some autographs with this make me feel like I got my money's worth <laughs> alright thanks for watching by one two three that is it man, man.